Hey guys, we're going to get right into this week's video, but first, if you missed my last video for my homemade mayonnaise, well, you don't have to wait any further because I'm going to show you just what I made with that homemade mayonnaise. This delicious salmon salad. It is amazing. Fresh salmon, that homemade mayonnaise, it is a sure enough winner. And guess what? No more further delays, guys. I'm meeting you right at the stove. All right. So I'm here at the stove. I have a little olive oil I'm putting in the pan. And just a little bit we need to saute the vegetables for our salmon salad. So here I have some um, diced shredded carrot. They were shredded carrots and I just kind of gave them a nice little fine chop. Some white onion, red and yellow pepper. and probably like a stalk and a half of celery. All right, so all that goes in. I just added some parsley and some black pepper. And now I'm gonna add, you know, mm -hmm, some onion powder. Put a little onion powder in. I'm gonna go in a little salt-free magic seasoning. This is so good. Guys, if you can find this in your supermarket, get it. It adds so much flavor. And you guys know already, I've made a, a few different salads. Whether it's potato salad or uh, any type of pasta salad, I'm always going to saute down my vegetables. So I'm just gonna cook these down just till they get a little tender, a little translucent. I'm gonna finish at this and then I'll be back, guys. Give you a close up so you can see what's going on in the pan. Looks so good. These are coming along great. Now at this stage, I have already prepared garlic. And this one is in, I believe this is in water. I don't think this one is in uh, oil. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that. I'm not adding too much because I've seasoned the salmon with some garlic. So a little bit will go a long way here. Okay, so we're just gonna allow that garlic to warm up. This is almost done. Right. And then you can see my salmon back here. Now I've done salmon a few ways, so you already know I cook it on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. You season it very lightly because it's going in with all these other mixtures. And voila, 20 minutes salmon and that's a whole filet all right guys so this is done i'm gonna let this cool down a little bit and i'll meet you at the table all right so we have our filet of salmon here and i'm just going to i'm actually going to cut it in half just get your get yourself a large fork and start flaking the salmon just like that. Okay, I have a large spoon here. I'm gonna put this right in with our macaroni. Just making sure I didn't get any skin and I did. Smaller piece here. And just wanna do the same thing. Just flake it right on off. Okay, so we have our salmon. My hand right there. Uh, thank you. This guy. <laughs> this is the cooked vegetable that we had on the side. Still have some left in here. I'm gonna see if I need the rest. I'll add some more. This is um six grated eggs. Go 
going to add a couple of squeezes of Dijon mustard. Just like that. I have a small little half of a lemon in here. that. Make sure we get a a a little. <laughs> that juice, that lemon got revenge on me, guys. <laughs> okay, I don't know how well this is translating on camera, but I just want to show you after being in the fridge for about an hour, look how thick. Look at that. even thicker than regular mayonnaise. So we just want to give it a nice little stir. And I have some, if, if I need some more mayonnaise, I do have some regular store-bought mayonnaise on the side. So I'm just going to put just about all of it. I still have a little reserves in there. And we just want to start to incorporate everything now. Now you can do this with canned salmon. I certainly have many a day. And, uh, but there's something about that. Using the fresh salmon and the egg and this mayonnaise. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Tastes so good. Worth every ounce of effort. And it, this smells so good. Because remember, we seasoned in stages. I seasoned the salmon, the uh, pasta, a little salt water, and I seasoned the vegetables that we added in. So anything we have to add in addition will be very minimal because everything has already been seasoned. Like I said, you can add shrimp to this or uh, uh, some crab meat if you want it. That would be so good as well. You can even get some of those, uh, a good a good brand of the already prepared crab cakes and just crumble them up in here. Mm -hmm. That would be good too. You know, bake it off and let it cool down. Guys, look at this. So good. Give you a little close up here. Hopefully, that's not getting too washed out. You see, our salmon is still holding up and it's throughout salmon throughout this macaroni. All right, so I am going to add the rest of the uh, mayonnaise. I was about to say salad dressing. <laughs> Add the rest of the mayonnaise. And guys, think about this. Th making your own mayonnaise and then making double eggs. Mm -mm. Now, that has to be super rich, but I can imagine it is so delicious <laughs> that uh, it's definitely something that's for like a holiday or some sort of special occasion, I, I would say, but... Man, that sounds so good with this eggy mayonnaise. All right. I think I've got about everything I can get out of there I got out. All right. And then we'll give a taste to see where we are with seasoning. And then this is done. I'm on to the next. All right, let me give this a taste. Let me get a clean fork and give this a taste and see what else we need to do. Trying to get a little bit of everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. This is really good. I'm going to add the rest of my veggies. Really good, though. 
adding the rest of my veggies. So I feel like I can add a little oomph. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Greek seasoning. I'm gonna add a little of this ginger pimento seasoning. All right, let's see now. I can smell a difference just with that little addition. So that should be good. And you want to grab a fork and taste? <laughs> you see how she understood that one, guys? <laughs> She's the worst girl. <laughs> just jokes. Go ahead, dig in. Okay. I love it. Love it? Mm-hmm. It's good. All right, guys. I'm going to plate this up. And you know what's next. The taste. Here's our salmon salad. Mm -mm -mm. So good. And you saw just by flaking that salmon up, just how moist and tender it is. 20 minutes, you wouldn't believe that 20 minutes can cook a whole filet of salmon, but it does and it's perfect, 400 degrees. Season it as you will, a little olive oil, all your seasonings, and it's gonna be perfect. You know, you might can already tell that I've already been tasting, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna taste it on camera for you, and I can already tell you it's good. <laughs> so here we go. So good. It is good, guys. Try it with the fresh salmon. Mm-mm-mm. So good. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's so good. It's so good. Keep in mind when you're mixing up your salad, guys. I didn't say while I was mixing. But you know that sound that you hear? And it's sort of like a smacking sound coming from your salad. You know what I'm talking about? That sound. When you hear that sound, my mother would always say, you know you have enough mayonnaise, you have enough dressing when you hear that sound. So keep in mind... As long as you hear that sound, that smacking sound, <laughs> and if I can put in a clip just so you can hear what that sounds like, I'll do so here. But if not, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, if you're not a subscriber, well, what you waiting on, child? Go on and hit that subscribe button. Tell your family, your friends, your auntie, your uncle and them what I'm doing in this kitchen, y'all, and what Adrian thinks. Guys, till next time, Look at that salad. Mm-hmm. Salmon salad. Out. Mm-hmm. Cue music. <laughs>